On a river basin, different types of pollution can contaminate surface and groundwaters with considerable impacts on flora and fauna in the aquatic environment. In addition, they generate high costs for society if the water is abstracted to produce drinking water. Let's look at the main transfer mechanisms of pollution existing at the level of a farm parcel. On the surface, pesticides, also known as plant protection products, and fertilizers are used to facilitate the growth of plants, combat some disease and insects, and limit competition from weeds. When it rains, these different products start to move. Depending on the characteristics of the land, such as sloping run or clay soil, runoff is observed on the surface. The pollution then contaminates rivers ponds and pools close to the parcel in question. Heavy rain also takes these substances through the actual soil in a process known as rapid infiltration. If a parcel is drained, the water and accompanying pollution is absorbed and evacuated into a ditch where the fertilizers and pesticides collect and concentrate. If the parcel has an impermeable clay type surface, several tens of centimeters down, a subsurface flow can be observed. In some conditions, when the contaminated water crosses the soil and subsoil until it reaches the water table, this is called slow infiltration. In conclusion, depending on the type of soil, agricultural practices, characteristics of the pollution, and duration and frequency of use, Pollution will reach the water reserves and be pumped from the catchment. Thankfully, water pollution can be limited. Concerning fertilizers, the quantity and duration of the input need to be carefully thought out to optimize utilization. For pesticides, changes in agricultural practices can reduce or even eliminate the need for pesticides and also for fertilizers. The establishment of a grassy strip close to a river effectively limit their concentration and surface runoff. Understanding the different ways in which pollution is transferred, even in a simple way, encourages the application of pertinent solutions to combat diffuse pollution of surface and groundwaters.